Hi, I'm Brian Antar, and along with my brother Andrew, we created Hero.fm, the global music marketplace for artists and fans. Our mission is to enable artists around the world to earn a living. Andrew and I started playing the violin at age five, and when we got to college and started exploring different genres of music, we ran into problems of how to get that music out to our fans. So I created a network for selling my music direct to fan. And at the same time, Angie was working on a musician to musician social network to put bands together and things like that. So we took these two concepts, put them together, and we set out to democratize music and access to music for fans across the world. So I'm gonna hand it off to my brother Angie to give you more information about our vision and our token. Hi, I'm Andrew Antar, and I'm the founder of Hero.fm. So the global music market has undergone a lot of disruption, and the introduction of digital music actually killed physical sales, and there was a, a downslide for over a decade. But only in the last two years has the music market actually been growing, so it's a huge opportunity space. The problem is, is that artists get squeezed. They earn less than half a penny per play, which goes to the rights holders, and artists only get 10% of that. The global um, music revenue growth right now is 9.7%, and 34% of that growth is from streaming. So the product that we created is a music social network and discovery platform that algorithmically sorts music based on location and how it's trending within the platform. So we've built all of that on top of core audio technology with lossless file handling, uploads, downloads, and compression. And that ensures against copyright infringement. So we created this great platform for music discovery from independent artists all around the world. But the problem is, is that Fiat has too high credit card fees and we couldn't do micropayments with credit cards. And what we really want to do is monetize streaming so that artists can actually earn for every second of their music that's streamed. So introducing the JAM token. The JAM token is an ERC20 utility token that will enable micropayments directly from artists to fans and from fans to artists when they stream music. So we're creating a whole ecosystem for independent artists to earn JAM tokens all around the world on a per second basis. So when the music gets played, the artist gets paid. The JAM token is built on top of Hedera Hashgraph, and the reason we chose Hedera Hashgraph is because it's the only technology that allows us to do micropayments with virtually no fees anywhere in the world, and it's lightning fast with bank-grade security, and nothing else came even close to that standard that we needed to meet. So we decided to partner very early on with Hedera Hashgraph. We're featured prominently on their website and we presented at their latest developer conference, Hedera 18. And now we're part of the Helix Accelerator exclusively for Hashgraph dApps. So the way value is exchanged within the music economy is that when a fan streams a song for the first time, that's actually worth a lot more to the artist. So they get paid for discovering that music. Then when they actually decide they like the music and they start streaming it again and again, those pay jam out directly to the artist. And both curators and creators can actually earn on the platform. So a curator who's reviewing music can earn rewards and we're gamifying different levels of that so they can actually earn more if they're a, a certified curator or reviewer. So on our platform, both artists and fans can earn. So creators, when they upload music, they get rewarded in jam tokens. Then they can actually market their music by buying bundles of first time streams with their music. So when a fan listens to a song for the first time, they actually earn jam tokens. And if they like the song, they'll start paying jam tokens back out to the artist. And when the artist gets paid, they have total control over the split of where the money is going. So if their band manager gets 10% or their drummer gets 20%, they can control all of that including the rights holders. If they have a, a deal signed with a publisher, they can earn the jam tokens and uh, honor their existing agreements. So part of the marketplace is providing micro incentives and gamifying both sides. So artists are gamified in the sense that everything that they do to benefit the ecosystem at large earns them jam tokens and fans are, are gamified so that when they discover new music and when they review music and help sort the music on the platform, they also earn. So we're creating a decentralized marketplace 
for music where both artists and fans can earn and the first time provable stream is what actually allows you to earn jam tokens just for listening to music. So all of this is validated through a proof of stream audio protocol where we can validate that that fan listened to that song for the first time ever and we know that their volume was on and that they're still active on the site and they didn't just go and leave and, and start earning without actually being there. So another thing that we created was wallet and private key custody. So instead of having to remember a seed phrase or secure your private key, we decided that that was a huge UX flaw with cryptocurrency and we wanted to solve that problem. So we developed a system where wallets are automatically generated and managed on the hero.fm platform and they're associated with user accounts and that there's a multi-sig wallet recovery process in order to get that wallet back if they lost their password or lost their account. Another key issue with crypto is the ability to get fiat injected into the marketplace. So we wanted a very simple way where you can just use a credit card to buy jam tokens. So we're integrating carbon fiber, which is a fully compliant, um, SEC compliant um, fiat on-ramp stack in which you can easily put in a bank transfer credit card and buy jam tokens directly. So what we did as part of Helix is actually develop the jam token. So we created a, we deployed an ERC20 smart contract on the Hedera testnet. We generated a billion jam tokens. We created Hedera wallets that can actually hold jam tokens. And we associated those wallets with users on the account and we created a media streaming server where every second of streaming creates an event and we queue those up in an API call directly to the Hedera testnet. And so when the music gets played, the artist gets paid. For the exact amount of seconds, we'll create a transfer from one Jam wallet to the other Jam wallet. And we show that in this wallet UI where you can see all of your activity, your wallet balance, your public keys, and there's different actions here that you can transfer directly to carbon money to get a US dollar equivalent or directly to your bank account to cash out. So, Brian and I are the co-founders, and we have two full-stack developers, and Paul Schmitzer came on from Particle to be our director of communications. We also have an advisory board that is full of music industry experts as well as token and cryptocurrency experts. So Adrian Fu is a signed Hong Kong artist, as well as Helen Disney, who runs Dots Ventures in London. Uh, Chris Barrett, who runs a PR company. Jeff Robhan is one of the most successful artist managers in the world. Uh, John Feingold uh, owns a music licensing uh, company. Hal Real owns World Cafe Live. And Doc and Joe um, are very experienced in venture capital as well as management. So our first investor was Andy Hertzfeld, who co-created the Macintosh. And along with him, a few more angels jumped on board. And we've raised about a half a million to date and about 200K for the new token initiative. And now we're part of Helix, and we also had an investment from Brown Venture Labs. As we've been developing the marketplace, we were able to get over 5,000 artists on the platform who have uploaded high quality lossless music. And the way we did that was through showcases all around the country, South by Southwest, TV spots, and many other marketing initiatives to get artists on board and talking about our platform. And now we have a new site called token.hero.fm, or you can just go to tune.fm where you can learn all about the Jam token and how micropayments will change the nature of the music industry by allowing artists to get paid when their music gets played. Thank you very much.